What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to set up your Canon TR720A printer wirelessly on your computer. So first things first, you have to make sure of two things. Your Wi-Fi router is on and it's working and your computer is connected to it and your printer is on. You don't have to do anything on your printer other than that besides, you know, put in the ink cartridges and the basic setup, but you don't have to go on the screen or the display and touch anything, punch in any Wi-Fi passwords. This will take care of all that, take care of all the setup so you can just start printing from your printer. All you have to do is, you know, like I said, load up the ink cartridges, turn it on and make sure it's plugged in, the obvious stuff. So. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna open up the manual and you're gonna see that it's gonna tell you to go to https double slash ij.start.canon. So that, if I type that in, and I'll put the link to this in the description as well, um, ij.start.canon, it's gonna redirect me to this site right here, which is the one I already had open, which is ij.manual.canon, and you're gonna wanna click on setup but right click on it and open a link in the new tab. Keep this tab open just in case if you wanna read the online manual, you know, see some frequently asked questions, keep this open, why not? So now that we've opened the manuals, we're gonna to wanna to search our model number. So I said this is for the TR720A, but you can do this with other Canon printer models as well. I just, you know, this is for sure how you set up this printer. So I don't wanna mislead anyone and make a false clickbait video. So yeah, 720 and you're gonna see it's coming up. So the 720A is the one I have. I'm gonna click go and you'll see what it looks like. Make sure that's what your printer looks like, good. And click start and then don't worry about setup part a you should have already done that you know it's take the printer out of the box plug it in put the ink cartridges in and load paper into it congratulations so now we want to connect it to a computer right so click on that and this is super simple just download this program right here okay and then just open it up and this is some this is a canon installer Okay, so first it's extracting the file, and this is my antivirus telling you it's safe. So that's, you get to see that for free. There you go, guys. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so just start the setup, click next. So now it's gonna download the latest drivers and software required to communicate with the printer. Make sure you click yes on the agreement. Click agree as well. So now it's checking the printer status. Make sure your printer's on. I said before you started this whole process to make sure it's on, but now it's gonna, now the program will check that it's on. So now it'll detect a printer on the network because the printer automatically tries to connect to the network, but doesn't have like any authorization to be used, but it, the network can still sense that it's on it, right? So if you click yes, and you see your printer here, um, this will make sure that it's connected via Wi-Fi. And that's what we want, right? Just a wireless printer. We don't want to plug it into our computer. We want it to work on our Wi-Fi network. So if you click yes, it's going to handle all the good stuff behind the scenes. It's going to make sure your printer is authenticated on your Wi-Fi network. Basically give it the user password that you usually have to punch in for you to log onto your Wi-Fi network on your computer, on your phone. It's going to do that behind the scenes and connect it so that you can use it from your computer and then any other device that you uh, install like Canon apps on like your phone. But I'll show another tutorial on how to do it over your phone in another video. This is just for the computer. So let's click yes here and now it's going to install drivers. So um, I guess I'll make a cut when it's done because this is going to take a little bit. Okay, that took actually like 20 seconds, not even like five seconds. <laughs> But anyways, so now it's saying that the printer is being registered to your computer. Um, this means that basically if you check out your settings and you go to printers and scanners, it's being created here as like your default printer so that you can use it 
and just print from it. So it's basically using it and setting it up on your computer for you now. So it's been set up on the network. And now at this point, it has now been set up on my computer because we already saw it. It shows up here, Canon TR7000 series. It's the TR720A, but that's just what it'll set it up as for you. And then when you open it up, printer status idle right now. This is fine. We can do a test print. And now you can see and probably hear it in the background because it's a loud boy. It's printing a test page out. Oh, because I already had the printer set up, you'll see this is copy one. So now if I go back here, this is the, <laughs> the printer I just set up because I had already actually set it up once. Um, I have two of the same printer set up now. So my computer's a little confused, but if you had none set up, it would look like that, not like this with the copy one. Anyways, it is printing the test page out. I did load some paper in there, so yeah, you can also just go next, but you're pretty much done at this point. It'll just bring you to an online page that's pretty much irrelevant. It's not processing anything right now. You're good to go. Once you can print a test page, you can print anything from it. So don't worry about that. Continue online. Don't worry about this. You can click it though to close that prompt and then close the website because that link's broken. So they don't even have that working. And if you want to go read the manual, you can read it from here. Okay, finally that thing's done printing the test page. I finally spit it out. I was making so much noise, but yeah, guys, as you can hear, it's now connected wirelessly to my computer and on my network. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and leave any questions you got in the comments. I will reply to all of them. Thanks for watching.